I'm Aaron Ball, Motoring Editor at GQ Magazine, and today is a very special day because I'm standing next to the 2011 spec Nissan GTR. For many schoolboys, this is the ultimate dream of the car they want to drive one day. It's one of the fastest cars money can buy, and the 2011 model has gone under the knife and been tweaked to make it even faster. The engineers have done a lot to improve power and torque, they've also adjusted the aerodynamics, the downforce, and all of this while lowering fuel consumption and emissions. The cabin of the GTR is something to behold. It's a little different from the previous generation. We've got a few carbon fiber inserts scattered throughout with inlays. The best feature though for most enthusiasts is this LCD screen which monitors engine oil temperature, engine oil pressure, boost pressure of the turbochargers, transmission oil temperature, the torque split, and G-force. And although that doesn't mean much when driving on the road, the thing is you can take this car from the showroom straight to the racetrack and all these little gadgets come into play. The car handles great and sits on the road and sticks like a leech. There's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, it's fitted with the Bilstein Damtronic suspension system. And this system lets you tailor certain mechanisms to suit your driving style. There's race, there's comfort, and there's normal. This is a four-wheel drive, which puts great power down onto the road, together with the rear limited slip differential. And all of these help with the experience of the car. The biggest changes, though, have been to the engine. And what Nissan have done is they've tweaked the engine mapping. They've increased the turbo boost pressure, installed larger turbo inlet pipes, altered the valve timing, and revised the exhaust system. And what this does, it improves power figures from 357 kilowatts and 588 newton meters to 390 kilowatts and 612 newton meters. And that means this car is capable of getting from zero to 100 in three seconds. That's almost one second quicker than the previous generation. Visually, there aren't many differences from the 2011 spec to the original iteration but the bumpers have been redesigned, making it a little bit more aggressive, yet they're still functional. I've driven a lot of supercars. We're looking at the Audi R8 V10, the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG Gullwing, the Bentley Continental Super Sports, but none of them are as fast as this car. This is a car that gives you sleepless nights. This is a car that makes you look again at it when you've locked it. And that's all because of its presence, its poise, it's got cult status. And for 1.4 million Rand, just under, it's the ultimate performance bargain. It's a car I'd buy. 